Coming up next, we speak with the father of the accused Colorado Spring shooter as memorials grow nationwide for the five lives lost. I'm proud of him. Very proud of him. The hero in Colorado went to Mira Mesa High School, and tonight we're hearing from his parents. Why the soup plantation in La Mesa is gone for good. You can light the way for young patients at Rady Children's Hospital. It's Skate with Eight tonight. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Come out and join us. X marks the spot after an Oceanside viewer asks us to track down the pirate treehouse. CBS 8 News Live at 6 starts now. Tonight we continue to follow stories of heartbreak and courage from the Colorado Springs Club Q shooting. Good evening, I'm Jesse Pagan in for Carlo Chiquetto. I'm Marcella Lee. As we learn more about the victims, we are also learning more about the heroes who stepped into action Saturday night when a shooter went on the rampage inside the LGBTQ nightclub. One of them is Richard Fierro, an Army veteran, San Diego native, and graduate of Mira Mesa High School. He was at the club with his wife, daughter, and his daughter's boyfriend to watch a show. Fierro says his instincts as an Army major kicked in when he heard the gunshots. I just know I got into mode, and I needed to save my family. And that family was, at that time, everybody in that room. Investigators say Fierro's actions helped save lives that night, but his daughter's boyfriend, Raymond Green Vance, is one of the five dead. He was dancing with my kid, and my daughter got to spend her last day with him happy. Fierro left San Diego when he joined the Army, but his parents still live here. CBS 8's Steve Price caught up with them today as they shared their pride and their pain. This is Richie Fierro at three years old. Prophetic because today he is a real life superhero in the right place at the right time to take down the shooter in Colorado and prevent more lives from being lost. I feel like a real proud, proud mama. Frances Fierro says her son Richie always worries about others before himself. Even after the shooting Saturday at Club Q, he called his mom to make sure she was okay. He was pretty upset when he called, but he was telling me to be calm and not worry. Richie was born and raised in San Diego, went to Mira Mesa High and San Diego State. He joined the Army after graduating and served in Iraq and Afghanistan. I don't think he cared about his um, uh, medals or his uh, no. rank because he was, you know, he, that wasn't important to him. He wanted to lead in combat and he did. But his service took a toll on him mentally. So after 15 years, he retired. Then Saturday happened, and Richie's military training immediately kicked in. He could have thought about his wife, and I mean, sure he did, but right then he was thinking about everybody, because if he trains everybody, he saves his wife and kids too. Richie and his family went to the club that night to help his daughter's friend celebrate a birthday. He was raised in a family that appreciates diversity and supports inclusion. So to hear that it appears the gunman targeted Club Q because it's a gay bar goes against everything Richie stands for. You might like baseball, I might like football. He might like the army, you might not like the army. But we can talk to each other and we can solve things. And this is what politics and all that. Right now everybody's fighting about things. That shouldn't be happening. While Richie's parents are proud of his actions, their hearts are also filled with pain. Their granddaughter's boyfriend, Raymond Vance, was among those killed that night. Tomorrow, they're heading to Colorado to spend time with Richie and his family. And right now, there's only one thing on the Thanksgiving menu. We're gonna hug. We're gonna hug each other and be thankful for what we have. In Escondido, Steve Price, CBS 8. They lost so much. Uh, but keeping in perspective to be thankful for what they do have. And mm -hmm. Richie's definitely a hero to a lot of us. Mm -hmm. We are learning more about the alleged gunman tonight, including the fact that Anderson Aldrich is not his birth name. Aldrich's father tells CBS 8 his son was born in San Diego and the name on his birth certificate is Nicholas Brink. CBS 8's David Garferton talked with his father today at his home in Sherman Heights. I would love my son no matter what. I love my son. Until six months ago, Aaron Brink thought his son had committed suicide. I thought he was dead. I, was, I, I mourned his loss. He says his ex-wife had called him from Colorado in 2016 to tell him their son, Nicholas Brink, had changed his name to Anderson Aldrich and then killed himself. Do you have any idea why he changed his name? Yes. 
His mother told me he changed his name because I was on intervention and I had been a porno actor. You heard correctly, at the time Brink was acting in Los Angeles in porno movies. For six years he thought his son was dead until Aldrich called him out of the blue last year and started arguing with him over the phone. He's pissed off, he's pissed off at me. He, don't, he wants to poke at the old man. Fast forward to two days ago, Brink got a call from his son's defense attorneys telling him Aldrich was involved in a shooting at an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs. Brink says he's a Mormon and his first reaction was, why was my son at a gay bar? And the Mormons don't do gay, we don't do gay. There's no gays in the Mormon church, we don't do gay. I ran into Brink while he was unloading appliances at his home in Sherman Heights. When he learned more details of the deadly shooting, he was shocked. There's no excuse for going and killing people. If you're killing people, there's something wrong. It's just, it's just, it's just not the answer. Brink says his son was born here in San Diego at Sharp Mary Birch Hospital in 2000. He and his wife lived in Cardiff by the Sea at the time, but they soon got divorced. Brink currently works as a mixed martial arts coach. He says he taught his son how to fight. I praised him for violent behavior really early. I said, hey, okay, that works. It is in, it's instant, and, it, and you'll get immediate results. But in the wake of the violence at Club Q, Brink is changing his tune. Life is just so uh, fragile, and it is valuable. Most people's lives are valuable. You know, I, they're, they're valuable. They're good people, probably. You know, it's, it's not it's not like you kill somebody or, you know, kill. Um, I'm sorry, you know, I let my son down. At one point in that interview, we informed Brink that Colorado does not have the death penalty. He folded his hands in front of him, looked up, and said, thank God. David, uh, it, the first reaction of uh, that father when you when he heard about the uh, shooting happening at a gay bar, um, some anti-gay sentiments there. He did express some anti-gay sentiments very bluntly, and we did not include those comments in our report. But I will say once he found out how many people died and how many people were injured, he apologized over and over again to the community. We did hear him say that, uh, that there's no excuse for, for a shooting like that, but um, thanks for sharing that insight into the, the shooter's father, that interview. Thanks, David. One man has died and two others are recovering tonight after a possible overdose in Mission Beach. CBS 8's Ariana Cohen went to the Mission Beach home where this happened. She's got the latest tonight from San Diego police and the neighbors there. A man in his 20s died and two other men were revived from a possible overdose at a Mission Beach home overnight. San Diego police officers rushed to this alleyway between Isthmus and Jamaica at 2.30 a.m. after two young men called to report that a friend had passed out after the three returned from a party. Some neighbors I spoke to say the sirens didn't wake them since it's unfortunately a common sound in the area. We're used to a lot of commotion around here. This is kind of a you know a party neighborhood and so there's always people you know running around and going back and forth police began cpr on the young man that was passed out and also gave narcan to all three men san diego police say two men regained full consciousness while the third man who has not been identified later died at scripps la jolla medical center no. It is not made clear as to what the three men took, although Narcan is typically used for fentanyl overdoses. Meanwhile, neighbors, some who did not want to appear on camera, are feeling uneasy. It is shocking. You know, I don't think that young people should be doing drugs in the first place. The most alarming part is that this is just kind of an everyday or every week situation at this point. It's unfortunate. It sucks for the families. I mean, my hearts go out to them. I feel bad that, you know, this happened to these kids and that, uh, you know, that their families are dealing with this right now. And it's, 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 uh, it's a real shame. It's a tragedy. Ariana Cohen, CBS 8. A new state precedent is now set against school vaccine mandates. A California appellate court reaffirmed the ruling that struck down San Diego Unified's COVID-19 student vaccine mandate. The group Let Them Breathe filed a lawsuit against the district and a court struck down the mandate last December. SDUSD appealed the decision, but the court upheld it. The opinion today now applies to all California school districts. 
A 6.2 magnitude earthquake hit Mexico's Baja California coast this morning. It struck just after 8.30, 18 miles southwest of Las Brisas. There's a map to show you where it hit. That's about 135 miles southeast of San Diego. USGS officials say no tsunami warning was issued for San Diego County or along that coastline, but some people did report feeling the shaking up in our area. Fortunately, no one was hurt. No structures were damaged. Still ahead, home ownership may not be as far out of your reach as you might think. The new program helping first-time homebuyers. Plus, some news that might leave a bad taste in your mouth if you've been waiting on the return of Sioux Plantation. And after a very, very nice and warm weekend, temperatures have cooled down across San Diego. Daytime highs only into the mid-70s, but that's still pretty darn nice. I'm meteorologist Sean Stiles. We'll take a look at your Thanksgiving forecast. Hey, I'm out at the Rady Children's Hospital Ice Rink at Liberty Station. We're having some fun. It's Skate with Eight Night. You don't have to be any good. Caden, you having fun? Yeah. Katie, I'm making friends. You guys can too. Skate with eight tonight. Find out more about why they do this and what makes it happen every year.